ever wanted to build your very own robotic companion? Well now you can with the brand new Guido Blueprint shirt. Follow the link in the description to get yours now. Oh boy! It is good to be back! I am so excited to be back here within the job simulator offices. Got my job back, Guido! Yeah, all it did was, uh, all it took was a little bit of begging on the street. I was kind of homeless for a while, but now I'm back within the corporation. They've accepted me back. Job bot, secretary bot, those guys. I have missed this so much. The leaky bathrooms, the late pair slips, everything is just how I remember it. Guido, what the heck is that? Guido! Oh, dude. Ah, oh, yep, there's nothing like a little bit of false teleportation in the morning. You okay, dude? Oh, yeah, I'm okay, dude. I'm just a little bit, ugh, a little bit dizzy. See, we're in this weird non-air-conditioned room. It's very stinky in here, and it's very small, and it is boiling. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. Dude, what's going on? Yeah, I I'll have a look around. You're right. I'll have a look around. You stay right there. I'm going to... Oh, look, there's a door over here. Just stay put, dude. I will get to the bottom of this mystery in absolutely no time. Oh my gosh, we're in an office of some kind. Look at those neon signs. It's quite nice. Oh, this door's quite heavy. Uh, oh. Oh, dude. Oh, jeez. Um, well, it looks like we're still in the job simulator dimension. Y yeah, that is good. That doesn't mean we'll be, you know, disoriented and flung to the other side of the multiverse. But there's one tiny little problem. Tempbot is back, and they're looking more murderous, more insane, and more psychotic than ever before. Well, we are back in this situation once again, stuck in a tiny 4x4 office building with nobody around us and a murderer across the room from us. So this is, uh, it's actually quite nice. Yeah, dude, I think the break we took from this dimension is really going to help us here. Maybe everyone's calmed down, maybe everyone's a little bit more sane now, and maybe, just maybe, there's a slight chance that we might get out of this one alive. Once again, I'm in my work costume, which is a floating head and two hands, so uh, I'm looking absolutely fabulous. And once more, we have the tiniest office cubicle in the world to work with here. Absolutely glorious. This is going to be great. So basically, for any adventurers that might be unaware of what exactly is going on here, that person right there, that evil looking robot, no, not you, Guida, Tempbot, they are a little bit of a tiny little smidgen of a psychopath, okay? They actually have this evidence hidden right here, which proves that they have a plot to murder Jobbot. Now, they've done it a couple of times. Tempbot murdered Jobbot. Jobbot and Tempbot had some kind of relationship. Basically, there's a lot of evidence within this very office and other places in the job simulator dimension to suggest a nefarious plot, all tracing back to that guy right there. So Guido, you had time to talk with Tempbot this morning, right? Why exactly am I back here, stuck in my old office cubicle, and why am I working for this person once again? I thought we were past this. Oh, oh, they want me to build an army, do they? Perfect, and why exactly might they want an army? To blow up Vacation Island, oh. Genius, I've got to say, even for you, Tempot, that is a fantastic plan. Not. You haven't changed at all. You're still as psychopathic as ever, and you betcha that I am going to do everything you say, or it's going to be me that's being murdered. So, first of all, I think it's time to get back into the old swing of things. Let's do more jobs, try to get our job little number thingy up a little bit more, just so we can gain the trust back of Tempot. And then we'll blow up Vacation Island or whatever it is they want me to do. All right, let's crack on with our first job. Let's hit a slam dunk. Uh, oh, hi. You know what hey, cowboy. Say? It didn't happen unless it was documented. Right? Mind typing up a report? Sure. I, well, I do mind that because it sounds incredibly boring, but I will do it just because of that hat. You have persuaded me entirely on the basis of that hat. Hey, sir, come here for a second. Are you aware of this whole Temple Army situation? Blowing up Vacation Island? Judging by your expression, you probably don't. Okay, just keep that to yourself. Pretend I said nothing. 
Okay, I will take this hat though. If I'm going to be stuck in this office cubicle, I at least want to look nice. And now I will get to work on this report. So uh, let's go to words. Let's choose the, is it a sales report or a TPS report or a quarterly report or an NDA? Look, it's going to be one of these. So let's go for report, report. Here we go. Uh, report status. Good. Perfect. Report milestones. Hit. Oh, this is going well. Meta levels. Reached. Oh, oh, just reached. I thought it was going to say, like, reached critical point or something. But no, just reached. That's fine. Let's go ahead and print this off. There we go. And uh, we'll get a backup just in case. Just in Oh, you need three copies? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get all. That's fine. Don't worry. If you need three more copies, I'm pretty sure I've gone over the quota there. But... We uh, at least have enough for uh, all of us now, so uh, here you go. Annual report for you, annual report for you, annual report. No, oh, that's actually a can, but you can have that as well. Oh, oh, what a trick shot. That was amazing. And look at that balancing act. You should be in the circus or so Okay, fine. And that's how it basically goes, everyone. I am a slave to the system. And in this case, that system is temple. So uh, let me put my hat right there. There we go. So Guida, this army. How exactly do we make this army? How exactly do we develop more robots for Tempot to use in glorious battle over there on Vacation Island? Okay, okay, so we should find some kind of prototype around here. Wait, is it this thing? It's this little plushy toy thing. Uh, okay, I won't judge, and uh, now what do I do with this thing? Because I don't think right now, in its current state, it's going to be charging into battle. In fact, I think if it goes to Vacation Island, it might not spill blood. It might just get cuddles from everyone. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, so if I remove this and kind of just stick this... Oh dear, I just broke my computer. And just stick this right up the butt of the temp bot plushy thing. There we... Oh, jeez, get in there. There we go, there we... Oh my gosh, it's so hard to do. There we go, perfect. So that should be charging up now. And if we leave it like that for a little bit, we should be able to have our very own tiny little baby killer robot. Oh, I've always wanted one of those. Gotta make that money though. So let's go ahead and do the next task. Uh, oh, it's the water cooler. This was always a favorite. Guida, it's your dad, look. Dang me. Dank me. Oh, yeah, D Guido, this is definitely a guy that's related to you. Look at that mustache. Oh, of course it is, Guido. Of course, everyone that has a mustache has to be related to you. You know, I'm still under the impression that the Pringles man is your son. Anyway, sure, I'll have a drink with you before you get back to your dank memes. Let me go ahead and do this. So what have you been up to recently? Uh, started developing any uh, killer robots or anything like that? Because that's exactly what my weekend is being spent doing. Um... <sighs> yeah, ni nice to catch up. Nice hat. Uh, take your cup with you. Oh, I just missed him there. Oh, sorry. I wasn't littering. You saw nothing. Who's next? We may as well crack on here. Uh, hi. Oh, you've got a nice hat as well. Oh, okay. What do you want me to do? Oh, you want me to duplicate stuff? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this hat. If it will fit into the uh, printer there or into the copier. Um, is it? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, but it's a little bit unstable. Okay, let's grab another one here. Oh, this ain't gonna go well. What's gonna happen? Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, more? More hats, please. One more, I think. Look at this. <laughs> this line of cowboy hats. Oh my gosh. Oh, calm down. Calm down. Oh, it looks like a little butt. Oh, it's like typing on the phone. It's got a mind of its own. Anyway, let's go ahead and check how this thing is doing. I think it's now fully charged. Let's hear their death chant. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, yep, they definitely sound evil. Well, we done. Now, what do we do? What do we do now we've got this uh, very first prototype of the Tempbot Murder Bot 3000? I don't, I, I need to come up with a better name. Okay. Okay, so he wants us to duplicate them, just like we did with the rest of the, uh, of the hats here. But Guido, I've got a better idea. We just need to distract Tempbot here by, uh, Throwing this hat at them. Okay, that didn't work. But, uh, Guido, do you mind, um, <clears throat> do you mind, do you mind teleporting me somewhere? Yeah, yeah, don't say it out loud, okay? I've, I'll, I'll send you the coordinates, okay? Just get me to that location and get me back here in a split second, okay? I don't even want Tempot to realize that I've been gone, okay? In fact, I've got a decoy, okay, to make sure that Tempot thinks I'm still working. It's this guy. He's going to be pushing the buttons for me. Let me just position him here. So let me go like this, go like that. So if Tempot detects 
the work going down. No, please push the button. There we go. If Tempot detects that work going down, he won't think that I've gone. So Guida, let's go ahead and let's start that teleportation. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, God, it is good to be back here with my friend Jobbot. I always feel so much more safe with Jobbot by my side. Anyway, there's a, uh, a reason we are here. Let me just go ahead, put the security on so we don't see Tempbot sneaking into here. Um, there's a reason why we're back here as a store clerk, Guido, and that reason in particular is because there's a very particular robot here which we can use to override the new settings of the brand new mini killer robots. I tell you what, let me go ahead and show you. So uh, if we take the next job here, as you'll see, exactly, as, as, as we'll see here, just wait, just wait right there. As you can see, we get this little USB stick. Now what Jobbot wants us to do is stick this into that dial right there, this new USB key. Unfortunately, we are not going to be doing that. We're going to pocket this thing and we're going to input a virus onto it. How am I going to do that? I was going to kind of do it on the way, Guido, while we were teleporting. Uh, we are going to input and infect it with a virus, install that virus into the new robots, and um, give the brand new killer robots some new functions. Some functions that are different to, you know, murdering everyone brutally. Well, because it's a cleaning bot, it will probably be cleaning functions. Like, they'll probably get to a Vacation Island, and instead of gunning everyone down with a machine gun, they'll actually clean the place up, which, let's be honest, that place really needs. Anyway, Jobbot, sorry to love you and leave you, but it was nice to see you again, and, uh, adios. Stay safe. You never know when someone could be trying to murder you. So just, you know, keep an eye over your shoulder or something. Not like you have shoulders. Oh, is that my teleporter? Bye! Okay, all right, we are back here within the office. Um, yes, I don't think Tempo realized we were gone. This is excellent. Great job, Guida. Anyway, we have the new killer robots here. Do they still sound terrifying? I hope this never ends. Yep, they still sound terrifying. So now we will carry on with what Tempot was asking us to do and duplicate this army multiple times. And here we go, here is the final soldier. So as we can see, we have assembled a kill squad. I know, dude, it wasn't my first idea for the name, okay? It was actually Tempot's idea. Um, but yeah, we've got this brand new formation of killer robots right here. Now, these guys are going to be shipped off to Vacation Island to kill everyone. And then, finally, Tempot will be the true ruler of the Job Simulator Dimension, my master. <laughs> Guida, he has no idea that he's actually sending in an army of cleaner bots. They're literally just gonna clean the place. Now these guys are going to be shipped off in the morning. I'm actually quite sad to see them go because they're like my babies kind of. But uh, once they get there, I'm sure Tempot, they're gonna do a really great job. So don't you worry. Okay, so to finish off the day, we are going to do one last job right here. So let's go ahead and see what we've got waiting for us now. Hi, how you doing? You have a very deep voice. Oh, look at this. We've got the job evaluations here, the CVs, the resumes. It will be good to get back up to date with what's going on with all these bots. So, uh, yep. Bandit bot is still sketchy, which is, uh, which is good. I'll stamp that. Hipster bot still acts like he's superior to everyone. Great. You know, Guido, something's telling me that not a lot of these people have changed. This guy's overqualified, apparently, and he has a mustache, so he's probably your sister or something, Guido. Uh, yeah, these bots haven't changed a bit. Between Fancy Bot being elegant and, uh, everyone else being overqualified by Bandit Bot still doing crimes and by Temp Bot still being a murderous son of a gun, times haven't changed here within the Job Simulator dimension. Guido, today we made a killer robot army and we were basically a slave to our good old Tempo over there. So, uh, yeah, it's been a pretty interesting day, but I tell you what, it is good to be back. This little cubicle, although we've come close to being murdered about 20 times in it, it's still home to me. So maybe we'll come back and maybe we will carry on our adventures here within the job simulator and vacation simulator dimension.